doesn't show up, okay. If he does, fantastic. But either way, look, we're going to keep this ball rolling. I'm going to turn it over to Red, and he's going to tell you everything in proper English. I don't know about proper English, Marty, but I'll give it my best shot. That's for sure, because you know what Chris thinks about us UKans. Not proper English. I know, but anyway, nobody listens to me. I know, no one's listening to us, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, guys, welcome uh, to break. Uh, as you well know, we didn't have uh, today to bring you up. We'll just touch on uh, the new pop-up that is there today in your OES, your ecosystem, and over plain English so that you might understand. Guys, uh, we're not here to interpret what we think uh, with the pop-up. It is there for everybody to read. There is a few technical bits and pieces in there that uh, we would like to address uh, so that everybody is on the same page as far as that is concerned. So anyway, back to the uh, week in review. And we will take you back to last Wednesday, then 12th of June. Uh, what happened on the 12th of June, as far as on passive is concerned, there was no 360, but we did have an update for your OES on the Android app. And you should now be looking on your Android app at version 1.0.4.14. Uh, to check this, very easy. Uh, open up your OES app on your Android device. Uh, click it, open it. And top left-hand corner, you've got three uh, dashes. Click on the dashes and that will bring up a uh, drop-down menu. It will say on passive to the right of on passive. It will say V and the number you're looking for 1.0.4.14 if you haven't got one for at the end then you need to go to your google play store and to update it then you're on the latest version just for your information if you're on apple devices it is 1.0.14 okay that is the latest version of that as well Thursday then was a pretty quiet day nothing uh, major from our point of view uh, happened uh, as far as on passive is concerned. But on Friday, uh, we had a update on, uh, on, uh, on passive YouTube page and also on passive Facebook page. Uh, that was the change of the logo and also the uh, top a header as well. Why? Because it was for Eid al uh, Adha, which is Eid Mubarak. That was all going across the Arabic nations all over the weekend. And that was to bring uh, peace, joy, and prosperity to everyone. That was the header for that. Uh, so that was pretty good. So the logo was all changed on that. Uh, and also there was a very good post as well by our own Dr. Turok with uh, things that were happening over in Egypt. We're not going to touch on those at the moment, uh, but this was obviously it was shared also by our COO, uh, Mohammed Kamal, as well. Uh, if you want to find out what that was, it's very easy. Just uh, find Dr. Turok on uh, Facebook and you can follow him and you'll be up to date with everything that he posts as far as what he is doing over in Egypt. But bottom line is it was fantastic news for him. And it's also going to be uh, indirectly fantastic news for On Passive. Saturday uh, was a quiet day as far as On Passive was concerned. Sunday was the Eid Mubarak uh, festivities across the Arabic nations. And uh, there was an awful lot of posts all over social media. Uh, and the official uh, on passive Facebook pages uh, for that celebration. And I hope everybody had a fantastic time celebrating uh, for that festive uh, event that goes on once a year. Uh, Monday the 17th then, uh, we had some updates actually uh, on Monday that this is to do with O-Connect. Now, if you remember 
over the last well couple of weeks, I suppose, and specifically two weeks ago, you would have seen maybe a new person popping up into your speaker area that had just had UN uh, on it. Uh, that little uh, glitch had been fixed. Also, uh, the icons with your badges and etc. in the speaker view, that's all been fixed, we were told on Monday, plus other things within the chat area of Oconnect. All these little things that you guys reported back to us over the last week, 10 days or so, uh, we got the OK on Monday that these have all been cleared out now and they should be all working uh, absolutely fine. As always, guys, if you do see anything on Oconnect that's not working as you think is correctly, obviously the uh, success team is your first port of call to uh, advise them on them. If you get no joy for them, then you can come to any of us guys and we will have a look at it and see if it needs escalating. Uh, that was on Monday, Tuesday then. The logo on the official on passive pages went back to the normal one with our normal colours, etc. And also Omedia had a couple of new posts uh, as well yesterday, which were, in my opinion, uh, is one of the places that should be a daily port of call for everybody to go to. Why? Uh, because it gives you all the news that is there out in uh, the ether uh, for AI, the AI industry. It's not about on passive, but it's certainly about AI industry. And it really gives you a fantastic idea of how we in on passive are situated within the things that are going on now in the AI industry. Uh, but one of the really cool things that I love about uh, OImedia.news is that the whole thing is auto-generated using AI. OK, there's not somebody there writing up these posts. It is actually artificial intelligence that is writing these posts and putting it out there for us. Really absolutely cool ingenious way of getting news out there to the public and it's going to be an integral part of things that are happening in the future i am convinced about it as well and here we are then back around to today uh wednesday the 19th so what's happened today then uh obviously we've got 360 which is uh, amazing but more importantly you will notice that there is a brand new pop-up in your ecosystem and I want to talk to you a little bit about this uh, pop up you'll see there. Uh, and it is fantastic news for all sorts of reasons. Why? Because it says the new payment processor is now live. Now, let me just uh, expand what we mean by live now. It means that they're there. They're in. Uh, they will be able to be used very, very shortly. But more importantly, this is going to be for new people to begin with. Remember what has always been said that things need to be sorted first, okay? I don't want any of you going out there trying to subscribe to anything, trying to activate um, your O-Connect or anything until we give you the green light. Remember, we have a backlog that needs to be uh, ad addressed first before we then move on to the next stage. But one thing's for sure, this pop-up means that we are moving very rapidly into this next stage. One of the interesting parts that says there is that card transactions within countries restricted by Office of Foreign Assets Control are currently un unavailable. What does this mean in layman's terms? It means that these are sanctioned programs for countries. And the OFAC administer a number of different sanctioned programs. The sanctions can be either comprehensive or selective. Uh, using the blocking of assets and trade restrictions to accomplish foreign policy and national security. The bottom line is it's completely out of on passive's hands. OK, what's in place by foreign policy, by governments and by countries is completely out of the hands as far as processing card payments is concerned. Uh, and we have to adhere by those rules and by those regulations uh, that uh, the OFAC have put down. So it was great to see that uh, we are 
adhering to rules and regulations. But the best news of all is uh, for our Indian brothers and sisters. The UPI payment uh, gateway is on its way. What does this mean for you guys over there? You use it regularly already over in India to pay for so many things. OK, and this is going to make payment for India very, very easy. That's big news for on passive. Why? Because we know that you guys are close to 50 percent of the on passive uh, corporate business. So be ready. OK, and very soon you'll be able to make payments with your UPI using mobile apps. And that is going to be coming soon as well. But also lots of other news, exciting news is going to be coming your way as well. And to make life easier for all of us. Uh, there's two examples at the bottom of the screen of the two uh, of the Visa and the Mastercard, uh, MasterCard payments that you will see on your slips. If you make a payment, OK, it's given the two examples of the names which you will see. So if you see those names, OK, you've been given fair warning that what they're going to be. So we don't need to have any of this hotel in Mexico or anything like that. Uh, straight out into the open before it's even gone live. Uh, we are told what you are going to see on that payment slip uh, for any uh, payments that are coming forwards. And remember, it says in great big bold letters at the bottom, this is only an example. OK, it's not telling you or making any relevance to the amount that will have to be paid. It's an example, guys. OK, so don't stress OK, as always, wait for anything official to come up in that pop up or through uh, our CEO. That's it for me. Back to you, Chris. Wow. Thank you. Red